What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Christmas. It's the day before Christmas. And you know what? Let's uh, let's check out some Christmas stuff. We're going to check out actually a couple of classics here. Songs that I do know. So first off, uh, virtually everything that we check out on this video, I have never seen before. Most of my requests are people just like incredibly generously uh, tipping and donating and help and supporting the channel. And with it, you know, they bring in some requests. And, and every time there is a request of something I have seen, um, I let them know and I ask them, is there something else that we can check out? Sorry. But um, but yeah, um, anyway, um, one of our bigger, biggest supporters of the channel is uh, Mr. David Ortman. And David has uh, sent me these uh, letters and, and here he brought he brings up with uh, with it being Christmas. You need to check out some Christmas stuff. Uh, there have been a lot of country singers that have done Christmas songs throughout the year, so you should check them out. But here are my some of my favorites, Bean Crosby's White Christmas and Nat, Nat King Cole's Chestnuts. All right, so I have a thousand percent heard of these, but I've never seen what these guys look like or how they sound performing live. So we're going to do both of these songs, and I just want to... I just want to see what these guys were like, man. Because I honestly know nothing about Bing Crosby or Nat King Cole. Just that it's songs that we listen to on Christmas a lot. So thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, remember to tune in every Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Mountain Time. My wife and I, we do a live stream. Come hang out. Talk various topics. Talk, uh, you know, family, fitness, faith, Q&A, super chats, all of that good stuff. It's a good time. Come on, come on, come on over. All right. So I'm doing a quick search of Bing Crosby White Christmas Live. And we're getting this one minute clip from him performing this in the Ed Sullivan show. I feel like this would be a good one for us to check out. And I want to learn more about him after we check this out. Because, like, I mean, one of these comments here, uh, he may have had quite the disturbing personal life, but he sure could sing like no other. I'm intrigued. But again, this is Christmas. We're going to focus on the good, you know. Where the treetops glisten wow. and children listen to hear. In the snow. Bro, homie looks so old. And look how effortlessly he's singing. Of a white Christmas. With every Christmas card I write. May your day. Voice. He looks like, like again, there is no offense intended here. He looks like this little old frail old man. So what a powerful voice, dude. Is there a full performance of this somewhere? We got the one minute or the video of him here singing with Michael Buble. Man, what a voice. What a voice. How about Nat King Cole's Chestnuts live? Okay, this does not matter. But I was today days old till I learned that Nat King Cole was black. Dope. He looks fresh as all freaking get out. Jeez. Okay, so we have this live performance here. Let's check this one out. Oh, uh, it's such a beautiful song. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jeez. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Yuletide cow being sun by quart. And folks dressed the black Eskimos. Everybody knows. A turkey and some mistletoe. Turkey sucks, though. Help to make the season Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow will find it hard to slide. They know that Santa's on his way. We're going to pause it after this. He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh. And every mother's child. Mm. The simple phrase to kids from one to ninety two. Although it's been said many times, many 
Bro, this was the whole song. Merry Christmas. Dude, so again, I don't, that's why I wanted to do this. I. It's not like I've ever watched a crooner live. And something I noticed about both of them is that it's it's intimate because it is like so effortless. But that actually speaks to their like the way they can use their freaking diaphragms because their voice still has a ton of presence. But holy smokes, do they look calm and relaxed? And how can you not just be taken to a special place listening to a voice like that? You know, Nathaniel Adams Colds, known professionally as Nat King Cole, uh, uh, was an American singer, jazz pianist, and actor. S he started in the 1930s and spanned almost three decades. He started as a jazz pianist. Was born in Alabama. Had three brothers and a half-sister, Joyce. Cole learned to play the organ from his mother, Perlina Coles, who was a church organist. When he was 15, he dropped out of school to pursue a music career. Around the time Cole launched his singing career, he entered into Freemasonry. I know a lot of Freemasons. He was raised in, in uh, January 1944, in the Thomas Waller Lodge. Cool. He joined Scottish Rite. Okay, so the 33 degree. I, 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 I have a brother who's a Freemason, so he's like taught me a, like what Scottish Rite, York Rite, all that is. He was an avid baseball fan. And Bing Crosby, 1903, like look at that, dude. These songs that we're listening to every Christmas, like think about how powerful they are. Like we're listening to them decades and decades later. The first multimedia star, he was one of the most popular and influential musical artists of the 20th century. He was a leader in record sales, network uh, radio ratings, mo motion picture grosses, he was one of the first global cultural icons. He made over 70 feature films and recorded more than 1,600 songs. Born in Tacoma, Washington. 15 Minutes with Bing Crosby, his nationwide uh, solo radio debut began broadcasting on September 2nd, 1931. Dude, he was involved in so much, bro. Like, I have never, I haven't seen a Wikipedia page like this. That's amazing. These Christmas classics will always live on, and that's just so beautiful. That's so cool. Guys, what are your favorite Christmas songs? Let me know. Who are your favorite Christmas artists? And also, what are you doing for Christmas? I hope I hope you're spending it with loved ones. And for those of you who are perhaps going to be spending it alone, you're not alone. Much love to you. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. Peace.